So I want to start with this. Russell Westbrook. Like a lot of times, there's two stories. There's the story you see out to the media, and there's the story behind it, the truth. So there was these stories uh, yesterday. Westbrook, Westbrook, he wants to leave the Rockets. Okay, I believe that. A lot of people are leaving the Rockets. But it was funny where his destination was. Westbrook to the Clippers. Mm, No, that's an agent trying to, quote, create a market for Westbrook. A really good team's interested. Ooh, ooh, the Clippers are interested. Jerry West is interested. And no, they're not. That's an agent that leaks a story so it creates a market. Yeah, the pathetic Knicks may be interested or awful Charlotte. Even the Charlotte rumor this morning, oh, Charlotte loves him. If they do, it's for one reason. Michael Jordan has Westbrook under his shoe brand and wants to sell shoes. He doesn't want a Westbrook to look pathetic on the market, not cool. They're trying to create this market. that Everybody wants Westbrook. Oh, Westbrook, very valuable. Nobody that's any good in this league is looking for a 6'3 and a half guard that can't shoot, the worst contract arguably in the league, and can't play with top stars. You know, it's funny when you hear this stuff. I heard this for years. Oh, Chris Paul, tough to play with. Excuse me? Why? We used to talk about Blake Griffin. We don't anymore. Why? The minute Chris Paul left Blake Griffin, I've never uttered his name until this moment. DeAndre Jordan was a thing in the NBA until Chris Paul left him. We don't talk DeAndre Jordan. Chris Paul's a winner. He doesn't have to win titles. I mean, Shaquille O'Neal, Magic Johnson, uh, the late Kobe, Michael Jordan, LeBron have kept a lot of people from winning titles. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Warriors. A lot of guys don't win titles. Because you have these, you know, all-time top five players, top ten players. Chris Paul goes to Oklahoma City with a bunch of people you don't even know, and they get to the playoffs. I always hear that Chris Paul is tough to play with. I don't know if he's tough to play with, but everywhere he goes, he wins. I'd love to have Chris Paul on my team. He's old school. He'll get in your face. He'll play defense. He'll yell at you. He'll lead. He'll hit a mid-range jumper. Never afraid to take a big shot or guard the top. I love Chris Paul. Westbrook, I've never understood. Here's the reality with Westbrook. And now, all you people who are so mean to me, bigly, very, very hurtful, you have to admit four things. Number one, he was never a number one. Since KD left in four years, he has a single playoff series win. Number ones in this league do not struggle to get out of the first round, even in the West. He's never been a one. Number two is, he's a complimentary star. He just doesn't understand it. That's what took D. Wade from a really good basketball player to a three-time champ. D. Wade realized, oh, Shaq's better. Oh, LeBron's better. Westbrook literally joined James Harden, and he took more shots than he took the year before. He's a complimentary star, not the star. Number three is he shoots too much. Last year, he took the second most shots of his career, and he still shoots four threes a game. He should be scoring in transition, driving to the basket, some mid-range jumpers. That is it. No more threes. Everybody gets that except him. And number four, because he's hyper-athletic, as his athleticism wanes, he's not only not a number one, he's probably a number three on really talented teams. I mean, he'd be a number three in the Lakers. KD and Kyrie is a number three on Brooklyn. Stephen Clay, he's a number three on Golden State next year. He's a three. But there's a lesson to be learned here with Westbrook. Stubborn and rigid never win in any industry. They never win. One of the most impressive things about Nick Saban, the coach of Alabama, is not that he wins football games. A lot of people have won. But these old coaches hit like 55, 60 years old, and they get stubborn. Not going to change. My way or the highway. Nick Saban, mid-60s about four years ago, decided, I am going to change my offense completely. We're going to spread it out. We're going to have four receivers. We're not going to be a power running game. I'm going to have quarterbacks who are mobile. They can move around. And that's why he's the king. Westbrook's in his 30s, and he's rigid. I get people that are older and rich and successful, and they're like, I'm done. I'm just going to be me. I get it. I understand it. I don't agree with it, but I get it. I don't agree with people in their late 20s and early 30s who were like, uh, I'm not going to change. So I think Westbrook will end up going to like the Knicks or Carolina, and Michael Jordan will bring him on simply to save his shoe deal. 
That, that, that's what that's all about. That's about Michael like wants to make it feel like he's still cool and there's a market. And Westbrook will score a bunch of shot, uh, points and he'll, and he'll be hyper-athletic and he'll, he's fun to watch. But there's a lesson to be learned here is that people that cover the NBA fell for athleticism. This, everybody's an athlete. I mean, the, the NBA is absurd. Seven footers now cranking up threes. Seven footers run the floor. Seven four Porzingis runs the floor like wings used to. This league's nothing but talent. Everybody can jump. Everybody can run. Almost everybody can shoot. Hyper athleticism doesn't make you a one or a, 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 a championship player. And number two is players that adapt win titles. Michael Jordan scored a lot of points. Phil Jackson took over and said, Michael, you got to share the ball. You want to score 50 or you want to win? And Michael Jordan, and Michael can be rigid at times, but Michael adapted. He started becoming a better teammate, started passing the ball to guys that were clearly not as good, the Kerrs and the Paxons. Tony Kukoc, Tony Kukoc is that the lesson to be learned here, if you cover the NBA, hyper-athleticism does not make you a one. It just makes you fun to watch. And the lesson to be learned for basketball players is adapt and evolve. LeBron started shooting threes halfway through his career. He shoots more every year. He gets better every year. He was a freight train, and now he's a really cool, nimble train. Can take turns and shoot threes. Adapt is always the answer. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.